I recently got a really cool Zebra Print Safari truck, and after giving it a necessary lift, I learned about another one Lego made. This one had the typical 90s four stud wide vehicle design, which I love. Then, as I was tracking that one down on Bricklink, I found yet another Safari truck. This one lacking the recognizable zebra stripes, but making up for it with the word Safari stickered on the side. Curiosity aroused, I decided to mosey on over to YouTube and watch a video showcasing all the different LEGO Safari trucks, but to my utter horror, there was none. This was unbelievable. My world was shattered. The internet is supposed to have everything. My mission then became clear. Make that video and make it fast. So first we have set 69 nice. nine, Photo Safari from 1977, before time began. This set includes five animals who come from a world where hippos are red and elephants are the same size as zebras. Not sure if that's adorable or terrifying. Then we have the single minifigure, a double amputee cowboy merman with no face. I know LEGO is super proud lately of their inclusivity for disabled people by often using the wheelchair piece they recently made, but back in the 70s this was the only way minifigs were made. So until you start deleting the arms and legs off your figs again, sit down LEGO. Looking at the truck there are all kinds of issues. First the illegal building technique, the stickers that are plastered across three different pieces on both sides, and then the trailer. The set is called Photo Safari. Photo. Why is there a cage? Is this a poacher? Is that not a camera, but a mounted gun? Fortunately for the animals, the merman has no arms with which to use that gun, so that would explain why they are all crowded around the vehicle in the picture, presumably taunting and mocking their would-be killer. Thirteen years later, we get the much less violent safari off-road vehicle. They've never been very creative with the names. Originally retailing at $3.25, this set comes with humans this time, as well as a single monkey. The people do have a camera, and tapes, lol, but wait. A shovel and a pickaxe? Technically the word safari can refer to either observing or hunting animals. And the set name doesn't specify which this time, so taking into account the fact that neither shovels nor pickaxes are necessary for observation, I guess rip to the other animals from before, they were no match for these shovel slash pickaxe wielding hunters, even if the cowboy and his city slicker sidekick weren't armed with guns this time. The vehicle got a major upgrade in the suspension department though, not to mention beefier tires, zebra print for camouflage, and headlights, headlights, headlights! Next, I couldn't leave out the Duplo set, at least Lego took a break from the poachers for their younger audience. This truck came in a few Duplo sets, but it seems to be the main attraction in this particular one. The set, Lion Safari, came with a panther, a few trees, a couple humans, including a cowboy, of course, a non-armed safari truck with a welcoming open trailer, and, of course, a bunch of lions. Also, a mysterious suitcase. What are they hiding in the suitcase? Could they also be a couple poachers in disguise? Giving Mr. Modern Major General here with the shady eyes a second look, He's definitely got some ulterior motives for this safari expedition. You don't just grow a mustache like that unless you've got some diabolical plot to kidnap the princess, imprison all the woodland creatures, or take over the world. Then, 18 years later in 2012, the creator theme reached out and granted life to the safari community again. Back to brick-built animals, tiny elephants, and zebra printless trucks, and the return of... Mysterious Suitcase. We have four animals. Again, all brick-built, so obviously they looked terrible. Then there's a... tree? I'm guessing. Two journalists, or poachers, I don't know. Either way, they're disreputable folks. And then, the truck. Now, this is a basic creator set, but my goodness, they barely tried with this. There's not a single angle that makes it look good. Let's just move on. And here we are, back to the most recent one. It's great. I'm usually one to stick with the OGs and let the sequels stay in second place, but this one has it all. It's got animals, a really cool parrot in the first appearance of this lioness. It's got foliage in the form of a person's disguise, but it's still cool. It's got figs, two this time, and the female torso is still unique to the set. And wait, what's this? No weapons? No mysterious suitcase. Just a camera, binoculars, and a mug? They're actually on a photo safari. Congratulations, Lego, you did it. You put aside your hatred of animals for once. Now that's progress. Now onto the truck. The only detractor would be the insane amount of stickers. There's 38 stickers on this little thing. Okay, it, it's not that many, but it's gotta be close. Aside from that, it's a 10 out of 10 build. It's got an antenna, a roof rack, a snorkel, blinkers, a brush guard, a license plate, fog lights, a rear view mirror, nice big wheels, a gas tank, a ladder, another license plate, a... Wait a minute, is that... A trailer hitch? But it didn't come with a trailer. Unless... <gasps> that explains it! Double amputee cowboy merman with no face guys behind the whole thing! Run animals, flee for your lives! 
So anyway, I guess we should rank these. Duplo wins the animal category for being tied to the highest quantity, but also having all molded animals, which is cool, even though that meant they were too expensive for me to buy for this video. For figs, it's the new one for having the most detailed figs, bonus points for having appendages. Accessories or non-figure slash animal slash truck additions, uh... I guess that would have to be the death trailer from the first set. Its coolness is in its simplicity, and the fact that it's been 45 years since its release and it still fits on the current safari truck is pretty impressive. Next we have the trucks themselves. Creator definitely takes the back seat. Duplo follows closely behind because, well, it's Duplo. The first one was definitely a great start and all, but it can't compete with the last two. And this is where it gets difficult. The newer one is almost a direct remake of the older one. Two things the older one definitely has over the new one are easily the printed parts as opposed to stickers, the radical suspension, and having actual working doors. But after that, it's hard for a four stud wide vehicle from the 90s to compete with an eight stud wide vehicle from the COVID years. Second place, first place, good job, everybody. Overall, they are very fun sets and a refreshing break from the usual city trucks that we've all seen a million times. Here's to an even better one in a few years, hopefully without all the evil intent towards animals that LEGO seems so persistent to display in all the other iterations thus far. Animals are people too, LEGO. Are you even paying them to use their images? Thank you. Paid for by PETA.